Karen with Children's Liturgy for the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And our first reading today is from the book of the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament. And the first time that I heard this, I was taken back to when God created the world. So God created the sun and the moon and the sky and the oceans and the fish and the animals, and it was good. And then God created humans, and it was very good. So this vintner, this man who is making this vineyard, he took this land and he prepared it. He tilled it. He took out all the rocks. He planted awesome grapes. He built a fence around it. He built a watchtower to keep people out. He did everything he could, and he still got horrible grapes. And sometimes I wonder if God kind of feels like the vintner who gave us everything that we needed to have awesome lives. And we still fall away from God and we mess things up. So Isaiah is writing at a time where things had completely gone crazy for God's people. They had fallen away from God and they had forgotten what God wanted of them and things utterly fell apart. And Isaiah is encouraging them to turn back to God and to get things right. So our second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. And Philippi is a city in northeastern Greece. And there were a lot of different types of people that lived in Philippi. There were Greeks and Macedonians, and there were some Jews. But a lot of people that lived in Philippi were actually Roman soldiers from all over the Roman Empire that were paid with land there after they got out of the army. So there was a lot of different people that lived there with a lot of different life experiences and a lot of different beliefs. And Paul wrote this letter where he did so much of his good work in jail. And Paul is telling us that to grow our brains and our hearts as Christians, we need to take the same care as the man who planted the vineyard. So just like the guy in the vineyard wouldn't water his grapes with poison, we need to be really careful about what we put in our hearts and our brains. And we need to put good things in there to keep them healthy for God and to, to, to make them worthy of God. So the gospel, we hear even more about vineyards. And the vineyards back then weren't exactly like the vineyards of today. Um, they had walls around them and they had watchtowers on them. And typically, if you worked in a vineyard, you weren't the person that owned it. And the owner of the vineyard would come like once a year and collect the rent. And if you were working in a vineyard, you'd have to work a good five or six years before you got any kind of a crop. And so the owner of the vineyard is sending people to collect his rent and the people in the vineyard kill the guys. And at that time, the owner of the vineyard had every right to get the army involved and send troops in and, and be like, hey, give me my money. This is not cool. But instead of doing that, the owner of the vineyard was being really nice. He's like, oh, I'm going to try and win them over. And it happened two more times where the owner sent people to get money and the people in the vineyard killed them, including the owner's son. And this way of talking kind of has us, it's to make us think, how are we taking care of what God gave to us? And are we taking care of our hearts and our brains in a way that's going to yield good fruit for God? So your assignment for this week, you need to do one thing that is going to plant good seeds and take care of what's in your heart or in your brain. So that can be spending some alone time, just in silence, sending some time in prayer, um, reading the Bible, even going for a walk without having anything playing on your phone or doing a good deed that will go undetected. So find a way that you can to uh, plant and take care of the seeds that God has given us so that we can have good fruit. This is Miss Karen with Children's Liturgy for the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time. 
Have a great week.